So we're now in part two. So what we're going to do is now we're going to do mass to mole. So when we're talking about mass to mole, we're talking about having the mass and then we're going to times it over one mole with grams. So we're going to do a, a different than what we were doing up here. Okay. So in the question, it told us that we have a mass of 525 grams of CA. Our molar mass of CA is 40.08 grams. So it's already given us this, so we don't even have to look at the periodic table. We just have to do the formula. So for this one, you're going to take your mass. Well, that's your mass. 5.2, excuse me, 525. And then it tells us I'm going to times it by one mole over the grams. So then I'm going to do an open, alpha y, enter. I'm going to take um, my one mole, because that's what goes on the top. See, one mole's on the top. And it told me we had 40.08 grams. And I'm going to close it, and I get 1.30 um, and so on, right? So that's one answer, or I can change it back to mode, to normal, alpha, y, enter, and that's where I get 13.1. Either one of them are acceptable, okay? So then we have a practice problem, number 17. This time, we have to use our periodic table for that. So this is talking about AG. So here's AG, which is silver, right guys? So here, it told me I had 25.5 grams of AG. I'm going to put my one mole up on top. Remember, one mole up on top. Sorry. And then my AMU on the bottom, which is 107.87. Okay. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 25.5, open bracket, second, I mean, alpha Y, excuse me. Alpha Y enter because it is a fraction one over 107.87 and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to hit enter. That gives me 0.23 moles of AG. If I wanted in scientific notation, the only thing I had to do, and both of these answers are correct, I would just have to move this over. And so I can clear that, and I can do a second answer, enter, and that's where I got that answer from. Remember, all these other digits doesn't matter. The 3, 9, the 6, and so on. And this E stands for 10 times the power of that. Okay? So number 18 says we have 300 grams of sulfur. So here's my sulfur. There's my 32.07, right? That's where I got that from. So then now I'm going to put it in my calculator. I'm going to say 300, open bracket, alpha Y, enter. That would be 1 down 32.07 over, close my bracket, and there I got 9.354 blah, 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 E, 0, right? So I just rounded it to a 5. That's number 18. Excuse me, 17C. I shouldn't say that's, that's 17B. So then the last thing that we're going to do is where we're using these big numbers. No different than anything before. It just looks weird, right guys? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find Zn on our periodic table. Zinc, or I always do that. Where is it? I always never can find it. There it is. Zinc. 63.38. See, I put it right. That's what it says it's supposed to be there. Zn. 65.38, which I have there. Do you see it? Okay. Now, this, don't be intimidated with the numbers. Just remember, your calculator can do it for you. So I'm going to move my calculator over here so you can see it. 1.25 times 10 carat 3. Do you see what I did? 
and then I'm going to use this over arrow. Open bracket, alpha y, enter, 1, over, and remember what zinc was, 65.38, over, close bracket, enter, and I get 1.9 times 10 to the first power. And then the next one is Fe. Fe is right here, right beside it, right? And it says that it is 55.85 grams. Do you see it? But here's the issue. This is kilograms first. So we're going to have to convert it to grams first. So what I did is I put one kilogram, a thousand grams is in one kilogram, and then I'm going to do one mole, and then my 58.85, okay? So, 1.00, open bracket, alpha Y, enter. I'm going to put my thousand up here, because there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to close my bracket. I'm going to open my bracket, alpha Y, enter again, and I'm going to do my one. And then we said that Fe was 55.85 over, close bracket, enter, and I got 1.7 times 10 to the ninth power. Okay, so in this video, we actually went through and we talked about mass to mole, okay? So we did grams to mole, now we're doing mass to mole, and then the next one, we're gonna combine them all together and kind of show how to do the rest.